That's my fucking destroyer numbers, man! Oh my... What is this stupid burst? Hello everyone and my dear subscribers. So even before the class breaker was announced, I've kind of always wanted Smoggy to release a class who's simple, easy, and strong. Maybe because I play a lot of sweaty classes like Energy Overflow Soulfist where I have to consistently think to the point where I can't talk in my streams, which is really bad. Or Destroyer where I mauled for 2 minutes because the boss is consistently turning around, attacking, or grabbing whatever's in the front. And then they announced Breaker, I saw the trailer, and I was like, this is a class I've been waiting for. Uh, I've tried the Asura, which is the head attack build, on the first day of release, and my front attack PTSD kicked in and decided to play the Fist King build. Basically, Fist King is a spec based class with super burst damage with a lots of utility like stagger and weak point. What I mean by burst damage is approximately 80% of his DPS is focused on two skills, which are both charging skills. And man, I have to tell you, these two skills have the most satisfying visuals and sound effects I've ever seen in Lost Ark. Usually when I play my other classes, I play the game on low volume, but when it's breaker time, I crank it up. What's also cool about the two skills are, the skill has paralysis immune and the identity skill is push immune, meaning it's less likely to get interrupted while bursting unless you jump into a grab. The health and defense coefficients are also pretty high. I was rating in Theamine's 1631 gear score, which is almost on eye level. I was not dying by getting hit with some patterns which would easily one-shot some of the other squishy classes who are not overgeared. I actually got deathless with this class on that day. That's not all. The push immune skills bring so much quality to the gameplay experience. Uh, starting with Theomine, push immuning with spacebar and skills to not get knocked off the platform becomes really important. And that's where Smogate did an emergency patch of reducing the cooldowns of some mage classes. Anyways, the push immune on this yellow skill and identity gives me a sense of security and safe rating experience. Now, to talk about the build and skill tree, I'll leave a link uh, to my tripods and etc. in the description section below so I can keep this video as short as possible. Now, here's how I would set up the engravings. I would use the express engravings up to 1620 and if you get good critical elixirs, Use Adrenaline at level 3 and maybe Ether Predator or Hitmaster as a level 1. Or if you get good Master Elixirs, use the Adrenaline at level 1 and either use Cursed Doll or Hitmaster at level 3. The reason why I chose Cursed Doll is because it was significantly cheaper and Cursed Doll works on my Awakening as well. But here is a basic cycle with two Purple Wealth Runes. If you don't have the second purple wealth rune, either go get it by doing some sea bounties or you just have to use one extra skill for full identity. And here is the identity building sequence using a blue wealth rune instead of the purple wealth rune. The difference between the two is with the blue uh, with the blue wealth rune, I have to throw in one more Q in order for a full identity. Another trick you have to perform to play this class engraving is the auto attack cancel. After my burst, you will notice that I keep using my yellow skills and I want you to pay attention to the cooldown timer on my F skill. You will notice that as I auto attack cancel yellow skills, the cooldown on the skills gets reduced.
How you do this is kind of spam auto attack towards the end of yellow scale animation and you will see the white visual effects spread across my screen. This means you've successfully performed the auto attack cancel. If you don't have any yellow skills available, you can hold down on the auto attack and the last hit will act as an auto attack cancel. Another thing about auto attack cancel is, even if you miss the skill, the last auto attack has to hit an enemy for you to get the cooldowns. So keep that in mind. Shadow boxing here doesn't help you get the cooldowns. Auto attack cancel is actually very important for your DPS performance. Let me show you the difference of cooldowns on my F skill with the auto cancel and without auto cancel. Now, in a real race scenario where the boss will frequently move around, you're more than likely to miss an identity builder skill. In this case, just simply use the D skill to recover the identity and put it towards the end of your burst. Now, to wrap it up, uh, I want to end my video by answering some of the most frequently asked questions. And the first question is, um, what is your crit rate with using Adrenaline 1 re uh, with Master Elixir? And that is 77.5% without considering Bracelet. Another question I get asked a lot is, which class engraving is more strong and the ceiling on the other class engraving, Sura, is higher by approximately 10%, maybe even more. Another question I frequently, and I mean very frequently get asked is, would you ever play the other class engraving, the Sura class engraving? Benji, you're a front attack uh, player, why aren't you playing Sura? Benji, Sura is stronger. Um, my answer is usually no. At least not until they nerf Fist King to the ground. I am very happy with the class and I'm definitely going to put Breaker in one of my main roster, probably my highest invested character in the near future. I usually hesitate to recommend the classes I play such as Destroyer or Soul Fist and Striker. But this one I can confidently recommend to my viewers to give it a try because you're going to have a blast with the class. That's going to end my video. Um, thank you so much for watching guys. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye bye.